Hello, trading is closed on November 14th, 2018. Yesterday I said that uh, futures were up and we couldn't hold on to recent lows, so I thought higher prices would print. Wasn't much of a prediction because futures were already up. I looked for the pattern with the early high and the late high, which we got. And I said that I thought it was likely that this high would be higher than this one, although it wasn't a lock. Well, that didn't happen. And the problem when the normal pattern of this high exceeding this one doesn't happen, when that fails, you typically drop in a straight line. And that's what happened. Note that we get a gap and a prompt uninterrupted move under these lows which is what it takes to kill the call. So I'm kind of glad I said it wasn't a lot. But of course, it um, would be nice if we do that ahead of time, which I didn't call. Well, during the day, we're in free fall. MJT says this drop won't stick. Said this rally wouldn't stick, and they've all retraced. So how much further are we going to go? Well, I think it all depends on tomorrow's open. As we'll see, we've got very strong support at these lows. And if we're going to keep dropping here, we should have a gap under this low. If that doesn't happen, if we don't gap under this, I think support's going to probably hold here for a little bit anyway. Here's, um, here's the daily chart. These lines are TDST lines from Tom DeMarc. You're allowed to go one bar under the line. Two lines this close together give us very good support. That's the daily chart. Here's the weekly chart. You're allowed one bar under the line. So based on that, we're at strong support. Here's some trend lines. You get this high, you connect this one and this one. You come right at this low. You can also connect these lows, come up with this high right there. If this counts right, one, two, three, four, then you set wave one equal to 61.8%. And there's your potential wave five for the nice Fibonacci 1.618 times wave one. Now, just because you have support here doesn't mean it has to hold. But typically when you drop in a straight line right to support and you don't go through it, you either have to gap under it or the support's going to hold. There's also support right here. Here's the prior consolidation. If you're 61.8%, that's that low. You can also take this high and this low. Same point. You've got a wall into the close. These often gap up. Although futures aren't indicate that happening here. So we have a number of... Um, reasons to believe that this November 15th date might work. This is close enough with the tolerance. And uh, we might have at least ended this leg down, but we're not going to know for sure until we see tomorrow's open, because if we, if we get up under today's low, that means support has not held. Now I've, um, oh, I'll show you one more. This is this pink line is something called chandelier exits. It's supposed to separate markets going up from markets going down. When you're under the line, you're dropping. And when you're over it, you're still in a rally phase. We couldn't break through. Now we could break through tomorrow. I don't know. But for now, at least, that technique says we're still in the rally phase. And this is just a correction. 
And a lot of people I've read online are talking about this being a possible inverted head and shoulders. No. Um, there's a classic book of technical analysis by Edwards and McGee. It's a long discussion of what um, constitutes head and shoulders bottom. My father, I guess, had the fourth edition. I see they're up to edition 10. I think the book was originally written in the 1940s. So the fact that they're still reissuing it means there must be something to it. It's a long discussion of what constitutes head and shoulders and inverted head and shoulders. And uh, in my book, that's not it. So there are a number of places where this drop could end. This is one of those places. And if we don't take this out early, we have to be aware of support here, support here, and it's possible, not definite yet, it's at least possible that we've completed five waves down. It could be an ABC up. Won't know for sure till tomorrow, and that's today's call.